Mozart International presents Fresh Talk, conversations about creativity in the 21st century. I'm Kathy Bird, Fresh Art producer. This episode of Fresh Talk features artist Marcos Letiens and hypnotic session in the reflection room, his project for Documenta 13. Born in London, Marcos lives in Los Angeles. He's participated in the Venice Biennale and in shows curated by the Centre Pompidou Paris, the Los Angeles Museum of Contemporary Art, Kunstverein Amsterdam, the Image Festival in Italy, and the Royal Academy in London. Marcus works with other artists and curators to develop intermedia events and exhibits that reflect his research into the mind and the unconscious. Our conversation takes place inside his reflection room at Karlsau Park in Kassel, Germany. Tell me about this project, Marcos. This is the hypnotic show, and I've been working on investigating consciousness for a long time, and sometimes with uh, you know new technologies and sometimes with older technologies, depending. And in this particular case, we're using an old technology, which is uh, hypnosis. It's an old method that was probably developed by the Egyptians about 3,000 years ago. And um, after that, it was, um, you know, possibly um, developed, used by the British Army in, in India in the 1750s. And then there was a history of uh, kind of hypnotic explorations in France in the 18th and 19th century. And eventually, <clears throat> in the 20th century, um, Milton Erickson developed what we would consider to be contemporary hypnosis. And um, so what we're doing today is based a little bit on those methods. and. Um, I've been working with hypnosis for about 15 years in different places, different types of projects. This particular project, The Hypnotic Show, originated about four years ago with Raimundus Malasauskas, who is a curator and an author and an artist. And he, um, he wrote a book. And the book, in this case, in this particular hypnotic show, we're basing the exploration or journey on this book. And the book is on the fireplace there, the symmetrical fireplace, and it's called The Paper Exhibition. And it's a special book written over a period of about 10 years. And it has certain words and ideas and thoughts. And what I've done is I've um, isolated certain passages from the book that I thought would be a good um, starting point for a journey or experience on the inside via the unconscious mind. In hypnosis, we use a lot of repetition. Um, it kind of generates a kind of pattern, a kind of uh, a feeling and a pattern that allows the mind to go into this state of mind, which is basically theta brainwave state. It's a state between being awake and conscious and being asleep. And in this state, your mind is in a heightened state of awareness. And what we're doing today is we're just going to allow your mind just to go into that very relaxed state between being awake and being asleep. And in that state, your, your uh, intuitive faculties are in a heightened state. And also the way your imagination links into your body senses is very heightened. And uh, so what we're doing today is, through my voice, we're going to this very relaxed state. And during the session, you'll be probably aware of my voice for most of the time. And at other times, my voice may begin to just um, begin to lose itself as you immerse yourself deeper and deeper into these worlds. But it's very normal in hypnosis and in a hypnotic state to be aware of my voice and aware that you're in the cabin and at the same time immerse yourself deeply into these worlds. So if you can hear my voice and because you can hear my voice, it doesn't mean that you're not in a state of trance. It's very normal. You can hear my voice and you can be in a deep trance. At the same time, if, you, if your mind begins to kind of drift off and you're not paying a special attention to what I'm saying, that's fine too. You don't have to kind of hit the rewind button or you don't have to kind of make a special effort. And also, you don't have to correct yourself. You don't have to say, well, am I doing it right? You can just allow yourself to do it however it comes out, okay? So whenever you're ready now, if you could just close your eyes if you haven't closed them already. And just take a deep breath. And I'd like you to begin to feel and sense a feeling of relaxation just coming down around the top of your head. And I'd like you to feel and sense that relaxation now just coming around your temples. 
down around your forehead and down around your eyes and beginning to relax every nerve and muscle and fiber around your eyes. And with every breath, I'd like you to feel and sense that relaxation now just coming down through your cheeks and down around your mouth and feeling and sensing that relaxation now coming all the way down to your chin. And all the hundreds of little muscles around your mouth and chin, I'd like them to begin to feel more and more comfortable and more and more relaxed. And I'd like that feeling of relaxation now just to come all the way down inside your mouth, relaxing your tongue and your throat and the back of your throat and feeling and sensing that relaxation now, relaxing your jaw muscles. And with every breath, I'd like that feeling of relaxation now just to come all the way down your back, all the way down your spine and relaxing every nerve and muscle and fiber around and inside your spine and arching and fanning out through your back. And I'd like that feeling of relaxation also to come down through your shoulders and down through your biceps and triceps. And all the way down into your elbows and your forearms and your wrists and your hands, feeling very comfortable and very relaxed. And I'd like that feeling of heavy relaxation also to come over your shoulders and down into your chest and down into your lungs and all the way down into your stomach and down into your hips as they're resting there, very comfortable and very relaxed. And with every breath, I'd like that feeling of relaxation just to go further down into your legs, into your thighs, and the backs of your thighs, your knees, and the back of your knees, your legs, all the way down to your calf muscles, your shins, and all the way down to your ankles and your feet as they're resting there very comfortably and very relaxed. And in a few moments, I'd like you to imagine yourself at the top of a very safe and very comfortable set of stairs. And maybe these stairs are from a long time ago in your past, or maybe they're just made up in your mind. Maybe they're made of stone or wood or some other very heavy material. And in a few moments, I'm going to come down from 10 to 1. And with every number, we're just going to go down one step at a time, very safely and very comfortably. 10, taking the first step down now in your own time, allowing yourself to go further. And further down with every step now, nine, going further down now, eight. With every step, allowing yourself to feel very comfortable and very relaxed and allowing time to go slower and slower at your own speed now, seven, just allowing any thoughts or feelings from outside. Just allow those thoughts and feelings to drift off as you focus more and more on the inside now. Six, dreaming and drifting downwards. Five, allowing yourself to go further and further down in your own time now. Four, dreaming and drifting now. Three, feeling very relaxed. Two and one now, all the way down now, deep down on the inside. And as you're lying there listening to the sound of my voice, I'd like to just go back to that feeling in your neck and shoulders and make sure that any tension in your neck and shoulders or down your back has just melted away and you're feeling very comfortable and very relaxed. And I'd like you now to focus on your right hand. And as you focus more and more on your right hand, the hand that you normally write with, I'd like that hand to begin to feel itself getting heavier and heavier, almost as if it's made of stone or metal or concrete. And I'd like that hand to begin to feel heavier and heavier now, and with every moment you can feel and sense it getting heavier and heavier and feeling that heaviness extending into your fingers and into your thumb and all the way up the arm. 
And as that hand and as that arm is so incredibly heavy, I'd like your other hand to be very light and airy. And feeling and sensing that hand, the hand that you eat with, just to feel light and airy. While the hand that you usually write with is feeling very heavy and very relaxed. Very heavy and very relaxed. And in a few moments, I'm going to come down again from 10 to 1, and with every number, we're just going to go down one step more. Very safe and very comfortable on the inside now. 10, taking another step down now. 9, allowing yourself to feel very comfortable and very relaxed on the inside now. 8, allowing time to go slower and slower at your own speed now. 7, dreaming and drifting downward. Six, just allowing yourself to feel very comfortable now. Five, going further down now. Four, three, two, and one. All the way down now, deep down on the inside. And perhaps you can begin to feel and sense all the thoughts that are drifting through your mind. And all the while falling in love with your imagination of a perfect life and falling in love with the imagination of a perfect life and feeling and sensing yourself feel at the end of this hypnotic session marcos reveals a new sensorial element and reflects on his documenta experience i, I don't usually say it until the end um, because i don't want people to kind of um, begin to kind of have expectations but basically the third person who collaborated in this project is, is El Tolas who is a smell chemist and an artist and we've included some certain smells in the project and, and there was a certain smell that was included in the last part of the session. So. I, I sense that and so what difference has it made to have added the smell to the hypnosis well, session? Well, the, the three um, parts of the story, the one is, the first one is like a kind of situation, almost like the opening of a movie, I suppose, or a scene in a movie, like you're in a situation. I, the second one is, is, a, is a kind of sensory emotion, and the third one is this, is what I call a mental construct. And in this particular case, this story is a, uh, you know, it's basically about the collapse of time, the past, the present, and the future, you know, collapsing, and using the model of, of light reaching your eyes at different times. and. Because the mental construct is the deepest part of the trance and the most kind of abstract and the most, let's say, challenging for the conscious mind to understand, what we'd like to do is to embed, uh, kind of anchor, anchor that kind of um, notion with the sense of smell, which is intangible, but it's also real. And in this particular case, the smell that goes with the stars is called the ozone, so it's a kind of atmospheric, high atmosphere smell. What has been the most surprising to you in these sessions at Documenta? Have you had some discoveries about yourself and yeah, about the effect that you have on people? It's been very kind of touching and very... Um, I mean, one thing I like is that a lot of people from Castle who have nothing to do with the art world have come to these sessions and it's just been amazing to to, you know, investigate these worlds. It's, you know, some people frame it as, let's say, an art experience, but really it's a kind of, uh, that's what I like about Documenta is that it doesn't, I think the primary purpose of this Documenta isn't really art, it's just life, you know, and I think that reflects, that's reflected in this work. And a lot of people that have come through here have, have I mean, connected in some ways, but, at the same time, in a sense, I'm, I'm the visitor. You know, they become, you know, the work, the work happens inside their minds. It's generated in their minds. And so in a sense, I'm the visitor. What you're about to hear is the dreaming and drifting in the third act of my hypnotic session with Marcos. And in a few moments, I'm going to come down again from 10 to 1. And with every number, we're going to go even further down, very relaxed on the inside. Ten, dreaming and drifting now. Nine, feeling lighter and lighter now. Eight, feeling your body to be so light, almost like a balloon. 
Seven, feeling and sensing how all your flesh and bones are just emptying out and how your body is filling up with helium. Almost like a balloon now, seven, six, and five, feeling lighter. And lighter now, four, feeling this lightness in every part of your mind and every part of your body now, three, almost as if you're floating up against the ceiling now, two and one now, allowing yourself now to be here floating up against the ceiling, and I'm floating up against the ceiling too, and you're just dreaming and drifting up against the ceiling. And as you're dreaming and drifting up against the ceiling and floating there so comfortable and so relaxed, it's amazing to feel and sense how time has gone by on the outside and it's night time on the outside. And the inky black sky is in the park and in a few moments I'm going to count down from three to one. And when I reach one, I would like you to feel and sense yourself dreaming and drifting upwards through the ceiling as the ceiling dissolves away up into the night sky. Three, allowing the ceiling now just to dissolve away. Two, allowing yourself to float upwards through the ceiling and through the roof up into the beautiful black sky. And one now, allowing yourself now to be immersed in this beautiful dark sky. And as you're here now in the sky, dreaming and drifting and looking at those stars, it's amazing to feel and sense how the light from the stars is light from such a long, long time ago. And some light from some stars is from millions and millions of years ago, and other stars with other light is from millions and millions and millions of years ago, and you can feel and sense how all these stars are from different times. And in fact, the light from different stars is entering into your eyes from different times and different places, and your eyes are beginning to receive all these signals from different times and different places. And in actual fact, our eyes are seeing and feeling and sensing things from the present, and things from the past, and things from the future now. And you can feel and sense how your eyes are amalgamating all these different experiences. And if we push that notion just a little bit further in every direction you can, perhaps then you can see and you might perceive for a second or two that you have been here and you were here, and you will be here and that here is there now. And I'd like you now to feel and sense how the future of this dark is in your iris and you can feel and sense the future of this dark deep inside your iris and beyond your iris, just a little bit further inside. And just a little bit further inside you can feel and sense that universal magma, that milky substance that begot that star. And I'd like you now to feel and sense that milky substance deep inside your eyes, streaming and drifting inside your eyes. That milky substance, that universal magma, dreaming and drifting in the back of your eyes. Feeling and sensing that milky substance in the back of your eyes, dreaming and drifting now. Dreaming and drifting and going deeper and deeper on the inside, deeper and deeper. And in a few moments now, we're slowly going to come back through that night sky. And in a few moments now, we're just slowly going to come back into the cabin. And when I'm going to count from one to ten, and when I reach 10, you can find yourself on the ceiling or on the floor, just as you wish. 
and I'm slowly going to count up from 1 to 10, and when we reach 10, we'll be wide awake. And very refreshed, as if waking up from a long sleep, very refreshed. One, allowing yourself to slowly come back in your own time now. Two, feeling and sensing yourself coming back in your own time now. Three, feeling very refreshed now. Four, feeling every part of your hand and your body feeling coming back to normal now. Five, Feeling very refreshed now, six, coming back more and more now, seven, almost all the way back now, eight, nine, and ten, wide awake, wide awake. been listening to Fresh Talk with Marcos Letians. Read more about Marcos and hear other podcasts in the series on freshartinternational.com.